This is a book that has, well, basically every character is in a moron. Yeah, the werewolf in the living room. Yeah. This book has a lot of yeah, problems. So what's the plot? So basically you have this boy named Aaron and he recently lost his mother, like she died. And it it's up where he's in this fictitious European country called Bravia. And his dad, who's the town sheriff back home in the States, is a werewolf hunter. Like he believes in werewolves, his dad. And Aaron is, of course, embarrassed by this. Yeah, so one night while camping in the tent, Aaron goes out and sees a... Oh, he runs into a werewolf, and the werewolf bites him. And then he wakes up, and oh, 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 only to find, like, the pendant, like a tooth necklace around his neck. Yeah. Yeah, and then his dad captures a man named Ben, who he claims is the werewolf. So they take Ben back to the States Yeah, they lock him in this huge cage in their living room. Yeah. Basically, yeah. So then Aaron's friend Ashley convinces Aaron that Ben's an innocent man. He's not a werewolf. He can't hurt anyone and you should let him go. So one day Aaron lets him go. Yeah. And, of course, Aaron gets grounded for letting Ben go. And then that night, Aaron blacks out in order to wake up the next morning. Like, his shirt's torn. It, it's blood-stained. Yeah. And Aaron discovers that he's the werewolf. Or, like, Ben's. Yeah, he's the werewolf, Aaron. So, yeah. Like, instead of, like, locking himself up in the cage, Aaron, he, like, ties himself to his bed. Yeah, but that doesn't work because Aaron escapes and then he gets chased by the sheriff, like, the police. Yeah, and then he gets cornered and... His dad, who's the sheriff, like rec uh, is able to recognize him because of the tooth pendant around his neck. So he takes Aaron back home and then gets a call, Aaron's dad, that there's been a werewolf attack across town, which meant that Ben must be a werewolf too. So yeah. And... Uh, Aaron doesn't want anything bad to happen to Ben. So, yeah, uh, he basically... So, yeah, there, then there's this, like, werewolf fight that happens in the story. And then Aaron's able to put the tooth pendant on um, Ben. And that convinces the authorities that Ben is Aaron. Oh, yeah, they basically, like... Aaron's dad takes Ben, who he thinks is Aaron, back home and locks him back up in the giant cage in the living room. Yeah, and, um, yeah. So, yeah, basic, and then Aaron finds his way back home, and basically Aaron's dad tells him that he's going to, like, try and find a cure for him and Ben. But Aaron doesn't want to, you know, live the life of being locked up. So he bites his dad and it ends with the three werewolves running into the woods. And Aaron saying, like, the woods will be crawling with werewolves pretty soon. Okay, so that's essentially the werewolf in the living room. So what are the positives? Well, not a lot. Well, I do like the Tim Jacobus cover with the werewolf with the bloody face on uh, like holding the remote on the couch you know like sitting back watching like football kind of thing you know yeah that was a that's a pretty cool cover 
Oh. And there's some decent werewolf moments in this book. Now we gotta get into the negatives. Oh, first of all, every character in this book is an idiot. I mean, really. Like, Aaron, for example, he, like, he just thinks, like, his, he basically comes up with one dumb idea after another. Yeah. Like, he, like as I said earlier, once he realizes he's a werewolf, like, instead of, you know, just locking himself up in the giant cage in his living room, he ties himself up to his bed, which he easily breaks free out of and goes on a rampage. Yeah, and Aaron's dad is, my God, he's definitely probably one of the worst Goosebumps parents ever. Not only does he endanger his son's life, he, uh, doesn't really take an errand seriously. Yeah. And like, yeah. And because of his incompetence, by, by taking his son to a strange foreign country, he gets bitten by a werewolf, which, yeah, and he captures a man who, with no proof that he's a werewolf, and takes him back to the States against his will, even though he does turn, end up, even though he does end up being a, he is a werewolf anyway, but still, yeah. And I should also mention that this book is a two-parter, the first Goosebumps book to be in two parts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's definitely better Goosebumps werewolf stories out there than this book. Yeah. And I'd say it's definitely one of the worst Goosebumps series 2000 books out there. Don't really recommend it. It's not a great book. Yeah. Do yourselves a favor and read something better. Yeah. Don't waste your time with this book. I mean, read at your own risk is all I have to say about it. So yeah, was, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe.